this is the energy vibration ladies in for the um, Libra Sun Moon and Rising sign it is the first week of June week begins from the 4 until the 10th it is the week number 23 week number is a change for um, changes we have the energy from the um, chariot the chariot is always movement for some people is success for some people it can be overcoming um, situations but it's always movement so some people could be starting new jobs in this um, week so um, congratulations and I'm wishing you all the best let's see what is happening because whatever you start in this week is going to be very very successful okay Monday told you didn't even look at the card happiness in the family some of you could be um new babies could be born being born in your family um a lot of happiness and joy um some people could be moving to a new house and as i said it's new work it's connecting with people of the past or soul families are coming in on monday this is obviously people who are starting new jobs this is positive but also people who um, new babies are coming in their lives so this is going to be um, positive for you guys on Tuesday I princess comes up she has been coming up for the hair sign um, she wants you to listen you know the most beautiful thing about this deck which um, I love so much this I princess she has the moon and she has the arts and above her head and this is so good because um, it is saying to each and every person that you are um, guided and protected by your spirit guides and they're showing up and coming out in different forms the energy of the lovers is a positive energy to be in a week with the ten of cups and the eye princess so for some of you your spirit guides whoever has passed over whether your father or mother is um, saying to you I love you I you know congratulations you know I've tried my best and um, bring in happiness and joy to your life and uh, it's beautiful especially for the people who's um, um, have had loss there um, whose uh, family has passed over the I princesses are coming in they're sending you a lot of love and this is good whenever these three cards come up together it is that the spirit guides and whoever that is protecting you and here you have the energy of the Emperor so wonderful this is this is the second major arcana that is coming up for you guys and it's it, no the third major arcana you begin in the week with the ten of cups the eye princess the lovers and the emperor it's it's it's, it's a perform powerful week for you guys then you have the energy of the two of Pentacles you're balancing out you're making decision a lot of people will be making new decision about their family lives a lot of people will be looking for inner guidance to, to make certain decision on going forward okay let's see what the weekend have for you guys the energy of the tower there's the ending of relationships could be coming in and um, new love okay so there is really healing this oh the wheel of fortune so this is wonderful um, your outcomes is the wheel of fortune for this um, month so this is a wonderful situation that is coming in so you have um, one two three four five major arcana that is here so it's going to be a positive um, week for you Librans okay so wonderful it, this is this is just absolutely beautiful um, a lot of you are going to be making a decision over your family okay whatever is transpiring in your family the eye princess your intuition is on target the eye princess is here and as if she is bringing the family back together let's say that 
there has been people who have lost contact with family members or some people who weren't aware of certain family members they're coming in but it's as if the eye princess is bringing this and the eye princess you need to make a decision about a family situation you need to make a decision about a family situation and the eye princess is saying listen to your own intuition listen to your own intuition um this is this is this is beautiful my only question because the eye princess is a happy family on monday you are you need to make a decision but I princess is as if she's saying listen to your own intuition something and you know I really really need to ask the question because the energy of the tower and the new love and I love this I love this this is the most this is a very beautiful card this is new love that is coming in but the tower is here it's as if the eye princess is bringing a message to you the eye princess the energy of the tower what are you guys saying and the lovers but the lovers are protected um, there is love that is going to be coming from if some of you are starting working this week you're going to be connecting with the right people it's as if the universe of a line um, you guys together the universe of align you two um, people together it's going to um, bring forth um, a lot of financial stability in your life these people are going to be aligned to you these people are people from past life that you have come back together with but the energy of the tower is here it's as if you need to make a decision and by making that decision you're going to break down the energy of the tower so what is this all about because the eye princess is saying just listen she is looking as if you need to listen to your own intuition about a family situation yeah you need to make a decision people whatever is happening you need to make a decision okay um, the energy of the two of Pentacles is always choices and making decision you need to make the right decision as you make the right decision new love is going to come in you're at a crossroads in your life that you need to make the right decision before you move forward okay this is what is happening I want to know the eye princess what is the message because the eye princess wants to give you a message about the family um, new babies are going to be born in this week for you guys a lot of new babies I'm seeing these beautiful the moon and the intuition okay emotional situation with the family is going to be coming up and she said look at this um, the eye princess I love this deck I love this deck okay the energy of the family and the eye princess is saying listen to your intuition what I can say to a lot of you is that some new spiritual kids are coming on this planet so um, they're going to be born in your family but there's something it's an emotional balance the eye princess is bringing emotional balance to a situation so let's say that you have lost your child or your child was taken away from you or that sort of a situation the eye princess is and your spirit guides are bringing um, back this to you okay it's bringing back this to you and this is going to be very positive what is going to be the outcome so a situation with a house so some of you could be moving to new houses with your family some of you could be buying new houses some of you could be changing a living a space some of you could be um, um, some of you could be moving back home with your families and that sort of a thing and this is going to be good this is going to be a family connection and she's saying yes listen to it go for it and listen to it so this is um, absolutely positive and beautiful okay we have the energy here of the lovers and of the 
Aerophant, an energy of the lovers, the energy of the lovers with um, the Emperor is that some of you could be connecting in an organization and um, you're going to, in the middle of the week you're going to realize yes I've made the right decision because there is so much connection you're going to feel at home and and and, and uh, at home and uh, as if you're in a family in an organization this organization is going to bring you a lot of luck it's as if the universe have aligned you to connect with whoever this is an organization and it is a marriage that was meant to be it is a connection that was meant to be so go for it some of you are going to be meeting your a twin flame your soulmate or twin flame in this week okay and this is it. this is it um, the energy of the lovers comes up a new love so some of you in this week could be meeting your twin flame or soulmate this is wonderful this is a wonderful week for you guys and as I said that number 11 come up 11 Oh, one came up so yes a portal is going to be opening up and some of you are going to be meeting your a new love is coming in um, some of you are going to be connecting with your twin flame and soulmate in this week new love and this is going to be good um, some of you are going to find the right business partner or the right organization or the right people in the organization to work with and this is going to be good um, this whatever is happening whoever you meet is from a past life okay whoever you meet in this week if you meet someone new is in um, is um, from a past life okay whoever you meet in this week is from a past life and it is going to be a positive new balance okay wonderful surprising things it's going to be a dream come true for you guys and in a positive way okay this is a wonderful week for you liberants I haven't I haven't had such a wonderful week for you guys okay so positive week inspiration uh, inspire uh, inspired action is always pleasant devil um, actions taken okay so this is wonderful it says uh, the dominance of your thought is what brings everything to you and is what is behind the action that you offer by seeking good feelings through that alignment with your soul your action will then always feel good you can't muster the um, enough action um, to compromise the misalignment through by action that is inspired from aligning thoughts is always pleasantary action okay so um, this is very positive ladies and gentlemen I want to thank you for being here please listen to the Sun moon horizon sign um, thank you to each and every person for coming back every week every month whenever you come um, um, I want to um, welcome all the newcomers and hope that you will stay I'm hoping for you this is a wonderful reading for you Librans because and the last time you guys have been having such weird readings and this is a positive one for you guys so enjoy namaste